the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life, Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, it's refreshing, and the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mama Lee, now is a Thanksgiving in America and every American is going around with a big happy smile on his face. Unless he's a turkey. <laughs> And even the turkey, the turkeys have got something to be thankful about in this country. This year, he's getting a five cents or more a pound than he got the last year. <laughs> but the mama me, this week, I'm had the most wonderful idea I've ever had. I've got so much to be thankful for that here's what I'm going to decide to do. I'm going to make a big Thanksgiving party in my house. I'm going to invite all America. <laughs> sure. I'm going to put all the turkey, the fruits, and the drinks on my table, open up my door, and tell every American that's a passerby, come out of my house, sir. <laughs> Maybe it's a sound of crazy, Mama Mia, but, but how else am I going to show my appreciation for living three years in America? First, I'm going to talk to... Maybe I should write a letter to President Truman and say, Dear President, thanks for letting me in. <laughs> but Pasquale says, Truman is going to find out. I didn't vote in 1948, so he's going to write the back. You're welcome, and get out. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then I'm thought, maybe I'm going to show my appreciation by paying my income tax four months early. Again, Pasquale says, No. He says, if I'm sending the money now, Treasury is going to get a full too quick, and that's liable to inflate the inflation. <laughs> so then I'm going to get this big, big idea to make a big Thanksgiving dinner in my house and invite all the Americans to come and celebrate with me. Then, while, while everybody's eating, I'm going to tell them a story. I'm going to tell them the story of a Thanksgiving and the pilgrims and what it's mean to me. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, Pasquale. And, and a happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, little turkey puss. <laughs> Luigi, look, I know you got no plans for this Thursday, so I hereby invite you to the biggest Thanksgiving dinner you ever ate in all your life. Oh, thanks, Pasquale, but, but not this year. What? Well, this year, Pasquale, I'm... I'm making my own dinner. Ooh, ooh, listen to the little pumpkin head. The way you take it costs us 70 cents a pound. You worth the 10 cents a pound. There's a more chance that the turkeys are going to have Luigi for tanks again. <laughs> now, don't worry, Pasquale. I'm got enough for money. I took out all of my money from the bank, and I'm buying the turkeys, pies, the fruits, and nuts, everything. Took out every penny, eh? Yeah. Who are you going to invite for this feast? America. What? America? Yeah. <laughs> Luigi, you ain't even got a room in your house for Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a big dope I was to let you fool me. For a minute, I thought he was serious. Yeah, but I, but, but I am serious, Pasquale. <laughs> oh, Luigi, come on. I think you better come with me to some psychologist so he can give you a sanitation test. <laughs> <laughs> but 
I was very ominous, the crazy. Listen, Luigi, just because the Marshall Plan feeds Italy, that don't mean you've got to start a Bosco Plan to feed America. <laughs> but, 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 oh, I was... stop, you big dope. How many times i got to warn you to stop bothering this country? You've got two more years before you get the citizen papers. So lay low. Don't act the suspicious. Don't feed Americans. Don't do nothing until they make you a citizen. Then you can be as stupid as you want. <laughs> I know, Pasquale, but, but, but I'm got so much to be thankful for in America. How, how else am I going to show my thanks? Well, there's a one way, Luigi. Biggest way there is. What way is that, Pasquale? By marrying an American citizen. <laughs> you mean a Rosa? I don't mean ex Xavier Kugats. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you say, little banana nose? Pasquale... This year, I'm going to eat the turkey, not the marry one. <laughs> oh, please. Don't be so ippity puppity. Eat the turkey. Look, Luigi, forget this crazy idea about feeding the country. You come eat with us. We're going to have turkey, cranberry pies, candies, and fruits. Uh, everything from soup until you go nuts. <laughs> oh, Thanks so much, but this year... I'm going to say no. Uh-huh. Still, they're going to invite America to your party, huh? That's right, Pascal. Uh, how are you going to do this, Luigi? You're going to go to your telephone, call up Washington and say, Hello, Harry, this is a Luigi, the last greenhorn you let in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Harry, I'm making a bigger Thanksgiving dinner, so how's about you getting a babysitter for Margaret and coming over with the wife? <laughs> No, no, Pascal, that's not what I'm going to do. Oh, come on, Luigi. Don't go and spoil all of my plans. I want to have a real old-fashioned Thanksgiving dinner. Turkey with plenty of stuff and wine, a pumpkin pies, meat pies. No, wait, pies. wait, Pascal. Don't think I don't appreciate to, that you invited me. Because you're the best friend I got in America. Well, all right. Prove it. Look, Luigi, I got a bottle of wine I've been keeping in my cellar for 25 years you're going to drink a glass. Rose isn't going to drink a glass. <laughs> Who knows what going to happen after this? <laughs> I'm going to be in a cellar for 25 years. <laughs> no, no, thanks, Pasquale. I'm going to get my mind all made up. Five o'clock Thursday, any American that wants is going to be eaten in my store. Ah, oh, you're making me sick. You with your crazy ideas. You think just because you invite a strange Americans for dinner, that means that they're going to come, huh? Well, I'm sure, Pasquale. Yeah, that shows how gossipful you are. <laughs> Luigi, believe me, nobody's going to show up. Ah, oh, Pasquale, you send that just because you're mad. But you see, they will show up, they will. They won't. They will. They won't. Well... Will they? We're going to have the most wonderful Thanksgiving dinner. Quiet, quiet. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howard? Here. Mr. Olson? Mr. Schultz? Gobble, gobble. (laughs) (laughs) Mr. Schultz, I uh, presume you're imitating a turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. Please, (laughs) control yourself. That's impossible. In this season, a turkey has got to lose his head. (laughs) All right, Mr. Turkey, since you're so full of the holiday spirit, perhaps you can answer some of the history questions I've prepared about Thanksgiving. That's unconstitutional. Constitutional, Miss Spalding. In America, you can't force a turkey to testify against himself. Ah, <laughs> oh, never mind. Mr. Howitz, you may tell us. What year did the pilgrims arrive in America? With pleasure. It happened in 1620. Correct. And what was the name of the boat they came in? The Maytag. <laughs> the Maytag? That's a washing machine. So what? So the pilgrims wanted clean shirts when they got it. <laughs> that was a lalapalooza. Quiet, please. Mr. Basco, you may tell us the name of the boat. The Mayflower. Very good, Mr. Basco. I'm glad you studied your lesson today. Well, Miss Pudding, I'm studying by the pilgrims all the week. And this Thanksgiving, I'm going to tell the pilgrim a story to all the people at my dinner. Well, fine. Your dinner, Luigi. I was going to invite you to my house for dinner. 
Luigi och den här tramen Stalga är bedrängd över för Turki. No, stop everybody. If Luigi has got to get it in the chest, and I want to have the honor of giving it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but friends, uh, thanks for inviting me and thinking about me, but... Uh, no, no, but, Luigi, come to my party. We're going to have me, my wife, Frida, the three kids, then, of course, Uncle Hugo, Aunt Bertha, Brother Wolfgang, his wife, Hilda, the twins, Grandpa Max, his girlfriend, and as always, Sam. Sam? Who's this Sam? Who knows? Every year he shows up at Thanksgiving. <laughs> me, he tells me that he's my wife's cousin. And my wife, he tells he's my cousin. Meanwhile, he eats more than all of us put together. <laughs> oh, smile, Luigi. You're going to have a wonderful time with us. <laughs> Not just, but, but thanks anyway. Luigi, uh, Olga will be real disappointed if you turn us down. My Esther will be very unhappy, Luigi. She's even learning how to make a pizza. Class, maybe Mr. Basco has his own plans for Thanksgiving. He's already said he's going to make his own dinner. That's right. But you got no family here, Luigi. Who's going to be your guests? America. America? America. You're you're going to invite America? Just a quiet and formal little gathering. (laughs) 150 million people. (laughs) Luigi, you must be choking, huh? Yes, but I'm, I'm not joking. Luigi, what do you mean? You're going to invite America. Well, I'm here over three years in this country, and I want very much to say thanks to America for, for letting me in, giving me a chance for some day to become a citizen. <laughs> so I'm going to go out in the street, and the first Americans I'm going to see... I'm... You mean you're really going to invite strangers to your Thanksgiving dinner? They're not strangers, of course. They're Americans. Hey, Jiminy, Luigi, they... This is the looniest thing you ever did. <laughs> Loony, but wonderful. The little Wiener schnitzel. <laughs> well, if that's going to make you happy, Luigi, then do it. Just be careful who you invite, that's all. Yeah, but why should say? What's the difference? One American is, is, is like any other American. Ach, maybe you're right, Luigi. I'm sure you're going to have it a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, well, I, I hope... But, Miss Spalding, you... You don't think it's crazy? I think it's wonderful, really. Yo, why don't I ever think of those things? That Jiminy, yo. <laughs> because you're smart, Olsen. And when you're smart, you think before you do something. And if you think before you do something, you never do it. <laughs> to me a verschimmelt philosopher. <laughs> Luigi, is there anything we could do to help you with the dinner? No, I don't want you thanks, but I'm just going to make the turkey, then I'm going to go out and invite the Americans, and, and I'm going to hope everybody is going to be there five o'clock at Thanksgiving Day. By everybody, you mean everybody? Uh, ain't you, you going to invite anybody else? Well, it's in a, Americans doesn't mean anybody else. But, but friends, well, well, you look at me this way. Don't you think Americans, are they going to be glad to come if I'm invite them? Oh, don't worry. They'll come. Oh, sure. Of course, they will. Oh. You can have plenty of people, Luigi. I'm sure of that. But, but enough to make a big party, I should say. With free food and drink? Luigi, not only are you going to have it a big party, you're going to have enough Americans in your house to start a third party. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that'll make your Thanksgiving dinner even more enjoyable. After dinner, pass some Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum around the table. Yes, a stick of delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes mighty good after a meal, or at any time. It's refreshing, it leaves a nice, clean taste in the mouth, and the pleasant chewing aids digestion. So, plan to top off your dinner with healthful, refreshing Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. The folks at your house will really enjoy it. And remember, it's a good idea to have plenty of Wrigley Spearmint gum handy at all times. Because chewing Wrigley Spearmint adds to your enjoyment of whatever you're doing. When you're shopping, be sure to include a few packages of Wrigley's Spearmint chewing gum. (laughs) 
Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, tomorrow's it going to be Thanksgiving. And today I'm going to fix up a two turkeys. I'm going to put them in a the stove. I wish you could see those turkeys, Mamma Mia. So nice and big. Uh, I bet that there was a sand before they come from the farm. Hey, eat a lot because the Luigi's are going to need you for this Thanksgiving party. <laughs> well, I'm going to get everything I'm going to need. The pies and nuts, the fruits, the candies. And, and now I'm going to go to the bank and get my last five dollars for the decorations. And also, while I'm there, I'm going to invite everybody in the bank to my party. Then from there, I'm going to get the decorations, invite the sales lady, and, and then I'm going to invite everybody. Mamma mia, is it too bad you're not here to see how happy I am? America, I love you. You're like a papa to me. From Oshana to Oshana. Ah, here's my banker. Ah, he's a wonderful banker. I wish I could invite you too, banker, because uh, besides the people who's working inside you... Hold uh, the car here, Lawrence. I'll be out in a minute. Oops. Oh, uh, sorry, young man. That's all right. Uh, uh, mister? Yes? You going to some place to eat for Thanksgiving? Why? Because if you're not, i got a big party in my store, and you're welcome. Well, uh, that's very nice of you, Mr... Here's my card, the Luigi Basco, 21 and North, the Street, Street, 5 p.m. shop, and you're going to bring your friend, the Lawrence, too. Lawrence is my chauffeur. Now, if you'll excuse me, I... That's making no difference. Just because he can drive a car and you can't don't mean I'm not going to invite you. <laughs> Mr. Basco, I'm the president of the bank, Mr. Fox. Oh, well, please, to meet you, Mr. Fox. I'm one of your study customers. Yeah, sure. Bank number 117806. Recognize me? Yeah, no, no. Mr. Basco, don't tell me you came here just to invite me to your Thanksgiving party. No, Mr. Fox. But you see... I'm a three years in America, so I'm making a big party to celebrate, and, and I'm inviting everybody in America. Everybody in America? Uh, excuse me, I'm in a hurry. No, please, Mr. Foxy. Well, I uh, hate to disappoint you, Mr. Basco, but uh, I don't think Mrs. Fox and I can attend. No, please, I, I'm saving the drumstick just for you. Uh, I wish I could say yes, Mr. Basco, but, well, I'll be frank with you. We've already pledged ourselves to attend a big benefit dinner downtown. Oh, and, and you already paid, huh? Uh, well, it'll be quite an affair. $25 a plate. Mamma mia, if the plate doesn't cost so much, how much are they going to charge you for the turkey? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, goodbye, Mr. Basco, and good luck on your dinner. But the way... Thank you. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Uh, please, miss. Uh, I'm like some little balloons and the decorations for my Thanksgiving party. Uh, certainly. How many guests will there be? I'm a don't know. Well, can you give me some idea? Will it be four, six, twelve, sixteen? Yes. Sir. What? <laughs> well, it could be four, six, or twelve, or sixteen. <laughs> my lord, will be a hundred. Oh, you joke. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> you see, since yesterday, I'm invited a lot of people. But to tell you the truth, my friend Pasquale, maybe he's a writer. Most of the people, they, they smile at me like I've been out in the sun too long. Well, of all the people you invited, who are you sure of coming? Lady, so far, the only one I'm sure of is the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, this is all very strange. Well, let me explain you. You see, I'm, I'm a three years in America, and I want to show my appreciation to America for letting me in. So I'm making a big party with all the money I'm gotten. Well, now, now I'm going around and inviting all Americans and... Uh, is it sound crazy, huh? It's very sweet. Oh, you like it, huh? All right, here's my card. The Luigi Basco 21 North, the Holy Status Street. The party is a five o'clock shot. But if you come a five minutes early, Tucky is, is not going to be mad. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, please, are you going to come? Huh? I'm also going to tell you the story about the Thanksgiving. Well, I'll try. Promise, huh? I, I, I want to feel it. Somebody is going to come. Well, I can't promise, but I will do my best. Oh, thank you. Thank you so Will it be much. all right if I bring a friend? Anybody, Miss Sells, lady, anybody. I'm no care if you bring an enemy. Okay. 
Well, and as it's three o'clock, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to invite a few more people in, in, in this park, and then I'm going to go home. Oh, hello. Hello. Mind if, if I miss you down? Go ahead. It's a free country. Oh, good. I'm glad you agree with me. Huh? Is, is it nice here in the park, huh? Sure, I like it so much I sleep here. <laughs> oh, oh you, you sleep a <laughs> real nature lover, huh? Yeah. You bring any breadcrumbs? But, why, you, you like to see the people feeding the birds, huh? Yeah, and it comes in handy if you ain't had lunch. <laughs> Mom, mommy, you're hungry, huh? I'm sorry for you. Mister, I didn't ask for pity. Just for food. Well, all right. You're going to get the plenty. I'm going to invite you to a party. What is this? Nobody believes a bum no more. Everybody thinks I got 20,000 bucks sewed up in the lining of my coat. Well, look, I ripped out the lining, not a dime. <laughs> my friend, I'm going to care if you got a million dollars. You invited to my party, turkey and everything. Is this a joke? No, mister, this is no joke. Five o'clock, I'm invited all America to my story. All America. I might have known the whole thing is a nightmare. Uh, no, no, it isn't a bad dream. Is it true? Friend, don't kid me. When you're in my condition, you can't take jokes. You can't. Hey, look, it's almost the time. Come on, come on with me right wait, tonight wait. to the party. I don't believe it. Let me touch you. Huh? I should have hit you. See? Gee, this is Thanksgiving for real. Mama Mia, is it, is it six o'clock and, and, and nobody's showed up? Well, I'm somebody, I hope. Oh, sure, sure, excuse me. But all those people I'm going to talk to, nobody, the sales are like the bus the drivers. Friend. Huh? When you invited me, I had a hole in my stomach, but now it's so deep you could drill for oil. Yeah, I'm annoyed, but... I'm sorry, but... All right, to hit up. I take out a turkey, sauce and a vegetables. Hey, look, that's a feast for a king. A king gets three squares a day. That's a feast for a bum. Well, let's start. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Here. You glass of wine. Thanks. Come on, we drink, huh? Drink. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. So the pilgrims sailed from Plymouth in England. September 6th, 1620, was about a hundred men and women and the children. Pass the pickles, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they came to Massachusetts December the 21st, 1620. Everything looked black, but suddenly the harvest was good. It couldn't be as good as this turkey. <laughs> Cooked it yourself, huh? Yeah. Well, you ought to eat some of it. Yeah. No, no, I can't. I... So in November, the pilgrims have decided to give it a thanks. Hey, here comes somebody. Huh? Well, hello, Mr. America. Oh, it's you, Pasquale, huh? Here, it better be, otherwise I've been feeding somebody else in the face all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Ha, ha. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this, Luigi? Pasquale, this is my guest. What? <laughs> Oh, you invite the whole country, America. And what shows up? Brooklyn. <laughs> Listen, friend, lay off that stuff or this place will have another dead takey. Oh, shut up your face. Well, Luigi, who was right? You spent your last dime for a party, went out of the streets, invited hundreds of people, and what do you got? Just enough to start a one game of Kanatsa. <laughs> Uh, please, please, Pasquale, don't make me feel worse. Uh, excuse me, am I in the right place? Sure, sure, come on in. 
I don't remember you. You wasn't the man who was a pest in the posters and a bit of blood. Yeah, that's right. I had the devil of a time finding this place. Well, uh, now you're here. Come on, start the eating it. After potato salad. Sure, sure. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I brought my wife. Mind? Uh, I'm very happy. Come on in there, Mr. Bill Border Poster. <laughs> Look, somebody else is coming. Mr. Bosco? Miss Sells, the lady. Am I too late? Pass the white meat. Oh, no, no, no. No, you're not too late. I'm going to stop a passing in the side with something for you. Well, I'm sorry, but my friend was delayed. Well, then, come on, hurry up. The party is just getting started. Hurry up, pal. My bus broke out. Where's the food? <laughs> pass the apple sauce. Oh, no. No, no, no. You, you pass it to somebody else at this time. Here's, here's a little food for you. Oh, thanks. Oh, come on, my man. There's a lot of people. Hey, come on in, everybody. Come in. Come on in, everybody. Well, what if us, buddy? Well, what do you say now, huh? Uh, it's enough to make you lose the faith in the human nature. Well, <laughs> Mr. Vasco. Mr. Fox, uh, honey, you came too, huh? Yes, yes, I did. I brought my oh, family. Come on in, come on in. Come on, mommy. Help us, buddy, please. Help me move that furniture on, so I'm going to have a more room, huh? All right, all right. Uh, sitting at that banquet, I thought about your idea of inviting America. Well, I just got up and came over. Boy, I'm glad I got here first. I want to see <laughs> It's like a convention of starving turkey stuffers. <laughs> Luigi. Yeah, yeah, Hollowitz. Uh, Luigi, next time when you invite all America, don't leave us out. Yeah, but uh, Hollowitz, uh, oh, I'm a tot, do you understand? <laughs> you think I would have a party without all of you? <laughs> well, that's what we thought. So here we are on path everything. Yeah. Yeah. Just a second, Luigi, wait a minute. You're going to make this a real party. Is the one person you've got to invite. Yeah. I, I, yeah, you're right, the first guy. All right, go on and invite her, huh? Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to call her in. <laughs> Rosa! 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 <laughs> my little drumstick. <laughs> Say hello to everybody. <laughs> hello, everybody. <laughs> now, Luigi, you got a party with all America. <laughs> no, Pascal, you're wrong. With the Russia here, I'm also got the Canada and the Mexico. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm, I'm had the best time of my life for this Thanksgiving. I'm invited all America, and they came. They even uh, was uh, pushed over into Pasquale's store, and it was uh, fun all over. But a funny thing, uh, when I was the uh, happiest, uh, I was the uh, saddest, because one person who's uh, not American wasn't uh, here. She's Italian, <laughs> and, and 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 I'm a hope she's a uh, take care of herself because uh, here's the uh, one American who who's uh, always a uh, miss her. I love his son, Luigi Basque, and an immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's story of life with Luigi. And for real chewing enjoyment, remember Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. You'll enjoy chewing Wrigley's Spearmint while you're working, for instance. Just sink your teeth in and let the smooth, good chewing help keep you going at your best. Chewing Wrigley Spearmint Gum brightens up dull moments, helps keep you fresh and alert so you feel better and work better. Yes, millions chew Wrigley Spearmint Gum on the job to make their work go faster, smoother, more successfully. So for a real help on the job and for real chewing enjoyment, remember Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Healthful, refreshing, delicious. Get a few packages tonight or tomorrow morning. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mac Benoff. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music on the direction of Lud Gruskin. This is Charles Lamb. This is the CBS Radio Network.